whether it's to fly home or to go and access or exit some lines, combining paragliding and snowboarding can bring you so many cool adventures. Taking off with a paraglide with skis is super straightforward because your feet are aligned in the right direction. But taking off on a snowboard is a different story. It requires really some adaptations and some specific techniques which we're going to see today. There's going to be two factors that you're going to need to take into consideration to choose your spot of takeoff but also the technique that you're going to apply to it. So depending on the speed of the wind, you're going to adapt your takeoff in one way or another. Then the takeoff length, shape and exposure. So the first one, two feet strapped into your board. So that's going to work when there is little or no headwind, that you have lots of space on your takeoff or and that your takeoff is steep. Whenever you're taking off with a snowboard, between the board, between the backpack, if you're free riding, there's a lot of gear, a lot of possibilities to tangle into the line. So it's important to be always extra careful to have the lines really far away from all potential tangle points. So on a paraglide, the alignment of the risers with the wing is super important. So if you're sideways, it's going to pull differently on both risers, so your wing is going to want to turn one side or the other. So it's important to correct with your hips the position so that you're going to have your board 90 degrees from the wing and your hips that are parallel to the wing. That technique will be, in a way, the easiest, the most comfortable, and also, once you're gonna be in the air, it's gonna be the most straightforward, because your snowboard is going to weigh on both your feet. And then there's the one-footed technique. It's going to be used whenever there is a bit of headwind, and you're not gonna be able to lift your wing without getting pushed back. We saw earlier how on your snowboard with both uh, feet strapped in, it's difficult to resist the traction of the wing. So with a one foot on the ground, it's super easy to push. And also it will allow you, if there's a bit of exposure underneath you, to kind of have a, have a minimal takeoff space and kind of minimize the risk to not fall into the exposure. Having only one foot strapped to the board in the air is a bit more uncomfortable because you've got all the weight of the board on one single leg. So what I often do is maybe uh, strap a little bit and kind of slide my foot in it so that all the weight of the board can rest on both my feet. When there is a tiny bit of headwind and you want to take off with both feet strapped in, it's going to be really difficult to counter the power of the wing when you lift it up. So a technique is the explosion takeoff. So as you can see here, my lines are not straight. They're kind of tangled on the side. I've cleaned them, but then nicely put them aside and I am sitting close to the wing. So you're going to catch a little bit of speed and then whenever your lines are straight, boom, they're going to explode. You're going to explode into your lines and the wing is going to come up all of a sudden. That's a good way to not have that reverse push or not feel it as much. With a one-footed, whenever the wing becomes stronger, you're going to have no choice but to do a reverse lounge. So which means that you have to face your wing and launch your wing backwards, turn around and then take off. So I'll put a tiny bit of snow in there so that will really avoid the wing to slide down. Then there is one more technique, it's starting in split board mode. I think it's a pretty good way to start uh, flying on snow when you're not used to all that twisting and everything. You can see the advantage. I can, uh, I'm already in the right direction and I just need to let go forward. So that's quite comfortable. Make sure you, your bindings are tight, your boots are tight and your high back is tilted forward. And 
here is to lock my binding so that I'm in ski mode and my binding is locked to the ski. Et voilà, you have a bit of an overview of the different possibilities of the takeoff of the paraglide with the snowboard. So I hope you get the chance to enjoy it one day because it is magic. Be safe and have a good time. <laughs>